Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. What's going on? You see our workbench over there? I did forget to bring my little thing that attaches my GoPro to my head. I mean, I got everything else, but that little bar thing that you gotta... Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We did an experiment about the 3 16th inch steel, I believe it was. So today what we're gonna be doing is a half inch steel and by doubling up two pieces a quarter inch and we're gonna blast through this and see if this little baby right here i'm sorry about the mess here this is all safety equipment i'm gonna probably be wearing <laughs> like the last time but uh something that could happen to this gun is you could get oops you could get a uh bent rod inside of here there's a rod that comes out to drive that nail. It doesn't shoot it out like a bullet. There's actually a rod inside there that shoots the rod. Now, if y'all don't know even what I'm talking about, uh, this is a ram set, and it uses these little 22 loads, and each one of them has a different amount of powder in it. So we have our number twos, our number threes, our number fours. I've done a video like this before, this one definitely has got me a little bit on the antsy side, but finally I got some steel that I can test with that I can just double it up to make half an inch because I already know it's going to go through a quarter inch. So let's just double this up and then we're looking about half an inch here, guys. Uh, yes, it is, it is quarter inch, but here, we'll just take a square here. Um... Let's see what we got. Yes, it is just under. Just. No, it's about half an inch. Right there. If you want to put it out on one, you can now clearly see it's just about half an inch. So anyway, without further ado, let me get geared up. I'm going to be wearing these right here. Let's go ahead and um, flip those on. Um, fuck it. Might as well put on the goggles too. Hold on, guys. Look at the ceiling for a little bit. Let me know if y'all see any holes in there. Or whatever. Alright, so. We got three levels of protection on the face area. And then, I'm going to be wearing this hard hat just for shits and giggles. Because it's kind of a joke anyway. But... We're better safe than sorry, right? This uh, th this little thing ain't going to stop shit. But anyway, the plan is we're going to start with a number two. Something that could happen. Like I said, we can bend the rod in this thing. It's probably going to happen. Probably going to snap the rod. So we'll start out with a number two load. Go up to a number three. And then finally hit it with a number four if need be. So let's see if we can do that. And the only way I can freaking do this is to prop y'all up somewhere. Because I can't put you on my head anymore. I'm wearing a hard hat. So, that's why you don't see too many construction videos, I guess, huh? <laughs> anyway. This is just playing around. I'm off the clock, guys. I'm gonna fire this off real quick. And, uh... Alright, back down. All right, let's start with the number two. Number two load. Put us a nail in it. There we go. A Dewalt nail. And that, that is a brown tip. If this goes through, then all of them will, right? So, all right, let's uh, load her up here. Always put the nail in first. And open it. Put your little 22 in there. Now this thing's going to have some kick. You, you, you're like, yeah, it's just a 22. Well, have you ever fired one of these with a piston pushing back on you? You get the full blunt of the force pretty much. So, all right, guys. I want to make sure y'all are focused on what I'm shooting at and how it's going to go down. All right. All right, here we go. So we're loaded. I'm gonna push really hard against this. I'm gonna stay 
I'm gonna stand kind of way back off screen here. Maybe. Push in. Here we go, guys. Alright. It went in but did not go. Whoop, did not go through. And it looks like the rod retracted. And it spent to shell casing. But it did not go through. Did not go through. It tried. Didn't even dent the back. So, but it's stuck in that steel though. So, let's step it up a notch. We got our number three loads. Put our number four over here. Let's get y'all situated again. All right, number three loads. Try that. See if we can pop through this puppy then. All right. We are on the green tips now. Green tips. All right. Where's my nail at? I need a nail. All right. We'll use the same one for control here, which is going to be a Dewalt nail. And we're going to. Load the nail. Our load. Stick it in the hole. Close it. Here we go. Shot number two. Hopefully we don't break it. Let's go. Mmm, that definitely was harder. Wow. All right, you want to see the carnage? You know what? I'm starting to think I don't really need the tinted safety glasses. I can't really see anything. But I'll keep the goggles on. So we get that right there. The smallest bulge right there going through. So this number four is going to be a heavy hitter. And I'm not sure... Um, Oops, let me make sure I put the right top on the right one. Accidentally over penetrate, you know, that's what she said. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more nails here. I got some more nails somewhere. There we go. Alright, let's hit this baby with a number four. And we'll close this baby out. I've got number four loads. Prop y'all back up over here again. There we go. So we got the nail. And these should be, yep, yellow tips. Yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Yellow tips. It looks green, but it's yellow. Trust me. All right. Where, um, where did I put the dang gunner? Oh, okay, over here. All right, here we go. Let's load her up. Nothing seems to be damaged. The pen is okay. Okay, yeah. Green tip fired off. Good job. Now I'm doing this backwards because I'm being stupid, but keep it open. Put your nail in. It's okay. This thing has to be pressed so hard against something for it to fire anyway. Even when it's closed all the way, this this whole tip needs to be all right, here we go. Fire number four. Ready? Three, two. Oh, I'm going to put down my face shield. Three, two, one. It won't go through. It's going through the quarter inch, but it won't go through. I know what y'all are saying. Why don't you use longer nails? Okay. You can clearly see the size difference. How that is number one, uh, number two load, number three load, number four load. How the um, little washers or whatever you want to call those are sticking out on those. So and how it's bent the plate. So it's definitely going through here, but it can't make it through the other 
other side of this plate here, which is, it's, uh, it was expected. It can't do it. Um, I, I didn't think it could be able to. Um, if I put a longer nail, I don't think it's going to really matter. That's the thing. And I don't really have a longer nail to help it along here. So, um, oops, guys, hang on going. So, I think we're going to have to say that's a conclusion there. Um, it's not going to go through this. Um, I don't have a longer nail. All I have is, all I'd use that really for is carpet strips. So, I don't need anything more than these little half inch nails or whatever. So, I've never actually bought any more. And as you can see, I've used up all my, all my number two loads almost. All of them. I, got, I think I got two or three or four or five left or something like that. But definitely, um, that's the only reason I use that ram set is for carpet strips. That's, you know, it's, it's never came in handy for anything else really. But it, it makes carpet strips, um, you know real fast so guys i'm jeff the maintenance man um we had to do this experiment to see what what was going on with it and as you can see there's one two and three but none of them will go through because it's going to bend this metal anyway but it's it doesn't matter if i use a longer screw or a longer bolt because they're just simply not penetrating through so this this definitely has enough to penetrate all the way through um this this steel but it won't uh so what's your limits on a ram set i would say stop while you're ahead at about a quarter if you want it totally flush and sunk against the steel uh, stop at a quarter inch thickness this first set will be a you know a quarter inch guys i'm jeff the maintenance man hopefully um just messing around on a saturday about to get uh, like i said i'm off the clock i just figured i'd make a video somebody did want me to revisit this but until until then guys y'all know what to do y'all need to stay safe y'all need to wear this stuff y'all need to wear this stuff and for Christ's sake, Jeff, clean the damn shop, bro. Until then, y'all have a great day. Until next time, y'all stay safe.